Raju wanted to buy 13 pence but was short of 565. So the amount of money Raju had will be the same as the cost of 13 pence minus 565. Okay? After his sister lent him $2.50, so we will plus $2.50, then the amount of money he will have is going to be 13 pence minus 315. Okay? Now this is enough to buy exactly 10 pence. So we can find the difference between 13 pence and 10 pence, which is 3 pence. So 3 pence cost three dollar and fifty fifteen cents. Then we can find one pen by dividing three fifteen by three, and we will find that one pen costs one dollar and five cents, which is after the thirty percent discount. So we know that this will be seventy percent. Seventy percent of the pen's price is one dollar and five cents. We can find ten percent by dividing this by seven. We will have zero point. 1, 5, which is 15 cents, then we can find our 100%, which will give us $1.50, which is our answer for part A. So 100% of the price of the pen will be the usual price of the pen. Okay, now part B asks, how much money did Raju have at first? So Raju had at first 13 pence minus 5.65. So since one pen is $1.05, we can find 13 pence by multiplying $1.05 by 13. That will give us 13.65. So the amount of money he had will be subtracting off 565. That will give us $8. This is our answer for part B.